I'm already recording. <laughs> oh dear. Good morning. I was going to clean the lens then, um, but I'm just going to do that. There we go. That's better. There's a hair in my drink. Is it mine? Who knows? That's good. Oh, we're out of the moon. Good morning on Thursday. How are you all? Yesterday I was a very good girl and I had a listing soon. And I listed um, 90 scheduled auctions and 60 buy it nows that went live straight away. Uh, the buy it nows were all nice necklaces, nice vintage necklaces. I did gold tone ones and oh and some earrings um and what else oh and like lots of lovely like crystal sparkly ones like beaded ones and some faux pearl ones as well so the good day yesterday listing wild sales were okay um i did 166 pounds which is still not not quite where I usually am. I say usually, I'm still up on last year, um, but down on last month. But as long as I'm up on last year, then at least we're the Loch Ness Monster. So yes, yeah, so 150 listings yesterday, very chuffed with that. So I am now listed up until Thursday the 10th and then last night while my sister was round um, I did the Pink Panther Jigsaw puzzle and then photographed it and I was like well I might as well list that one. So I did that and then the soap and the Piero the clown thing and then I remember like there's a video of me holding that up. That's the thumbnail kind of. Um, and I sold this and then it came back because it's it was faulty, like the seam around the top or something. And then it's just been sat up there for like ages. So I listed it as spares repairs. Might as well get rid of it. Not doing anything with it. Not going to use it. So someone could have it for their camp big trip, can't they? Or keep goldfish in it or something. Don't keep goldfish in your kettle, kids. Just do drugs instead. A lot more fun. Um, yeah, so I've got 13 things going out this morning and my plan for today is as a reward for being so good yesterday is I get to go out and go somewhere nice. So, I'm going to go to Bridgend. That's not the somewhere nice. I'm going to go around Bridgend first and then I'm going to go around Cowbridge and then if I'm not carrying loads of stuff, and if I can be asked, the same X2 bus goes to Culver House Cross in Cardiff. And there's Marks and Spencers there. And I keep getting adverts on my Facebook for Marks and Spencers food. And so, I don't know, I kind of fancy going to Marks and Spencers and getting some Marks and Spencers food. So that's a possibility. But we'll see. That's like the shadiest of all of them. That's the probably not one. But I will be going into town first because I've got some parcels to take with me. Some like two kilogram bags of stuff of which I got left a lovely review. I'm wondering, it's, is it from one of you guys? Left me a nice review like on the two kilo bags. If it was, then thank you very much. And they've bought again as well. But they said, a fantastic bundle, all items of jewellery usable and many good enough to resell. Great value, really good mix of bits and pieces, prompt delivery. And I've already ordered another job lot. So thank you very much if that is one of you guys. Thank you. Yeah, anyway, so I'd better package some stuff up, wouldn't I? Um, but first of all, obviously, it's coffee from Bagpuss. Stop. 
I said stop. I'm back. I just got caught in like a one of them YouTube spiral things. Um, I had the urge to listen to Pulp's Sorted Freeze and Whiz. Um, and then that turned in like into like watching it live at Glastonbury 95 and then it turned into watching other things at Glastonbury and um, yeah and then I just had like a mini festival which I couldn't show you because it's all copyrighted music but um yeah that was fun anyways things what I did sells right this cute bee mug um has gone for 9.99 couple of brooches to like um little gold home brooches went for 13 pounds 98 this rather crazy stretch bracelet went for 7.99 this fabulous tartan bangle went for 6.99 this one's gone for sarah hello sarah it's like um, a rubber stretchy bangly thingy a two kilogram lot of jewelry, yay! Um, a Bridgend tie, I think it's a school tie. I don't know how I got it, it wasn't my school. Um, presuming it was probably in a job lot of stuff. Uh, this, is it that one? Yep, this like purple doo -doo 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 necklace. Um, it is nice. It is old. I think it's Coro, but it's quite tarnished. So I only sold it for £11. But that's when I listed yesterday. So happy to have a sale from what I listed. Because um, that's like instant reward. That's good. This little brooch, which um, you pin on and then you can hook your glasses into it. Good. Probably a good seller at the moment with sunglasses and, you know, and having to mask sunglasses, sunglass mask. Um, went for £4.79. This Disney trading pin on card, £11.19. This abalone shell um, bracelet, which reminds me I have to do something. Another two kilogram lot of jewellery. And these vintage butterfly wing screw back sterling silver earrings. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. See with a little palm tree and the iridescence, lovely. Uh, went for nineteen ninety nine. So that's what I've got to pack up. I'm going to do that right now. Post is all done. Let's head into town. Whoa! Get your boys. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Post all done. Should we go to some charity shops while we're here? Oh, go on then. Twist my arm.
<sighs> right, most of the charity shops done. I bought another big jewellery case this time, a chest. And I'm just going into Bar Place, which is all of ours favourites at the moment, to have a little look-see. Um, looks quite nice. Yeah, let's see what we've got. Hold on. Gotta do this. Cowbridge. I've just popped into um, the Tea Haven boutique shop and spent some money on some pretty things and a little purse and stuff. I spent too much in there, but you know how it goes. Oh, look at them. Oh, I love them hearts. They're a bit fab. Uno de Cento, good brand, very good brand, very pricey. Gosh, do you know, if I saw them in a charity shop, I would probably pass them by, to be honest. More for me, I guess. I love them bangles. Anna Beck, I'm sure I've got an Anna Beck ring. I love those heart earrings, they're cool. In Cowbridge, they definitely uh, prefer it if you take sides. On that side, you've got cat protection. On this side, and there is the dog's trust. Which side are you on? I'm on this side right now because that's what shop I'm gonna go into, but I will obviously be going into cat's protection after. I have to say though, the dog's trust, it's a slightly better shop on pricing, but there we are. Oh, look at the perambulator. That's quite cute. A hundred pounds, 70 favorite vintage coat built stroller. I could put my cats in that. Spend anything in here then. The 
there's probably loads of things and Stephen is probably right now going, that, get that, get that. But I don't know as much as him, so. That's pretty, whatever that is in the box. And I like the clock. And I like that box and those shoes. Only managed four quid in cat's protection. Never mind. Right, I've got two more charity shops to do, which are right up that end. Um, and then I think I might treat myself to a spot of lunch from somewhere. I'm not going to go to Marks and Spencers, but there is a Waitrose in Carrollbridge, and so I might pop in there for a little snack of some kind. Um, although there's lots of nice other things, pear vegan cafe where someone is munching on some lovely looking stuff. But we'll see. I'll get some lunch from somewhere and go sit somewhere pretty. <laughs> Didn't get anything in the last two shops, but I think I might go back. They had some wallpaper, six pounds a roll, six rolls of it. Go back and have another look at it because i think it's by a good make but we'll see anyways i'm heading off to the physic garden hoping that it's open and that i can have a little sit down and a bit of a picnic i hope it's open
come here for a picnic. It's so lovely. And in the little folly over there, someone is reading a book to their kid. It's all very middle class around here. I'll probably show you um, what I bought when I get home. But for now, here's my picnic. Two boiled eggs and some cheese and salami and prosciutto and just to top it all off something extra classy Fanta <laughs> was just um, listening to a conversation that two of the uh, the volunteers here that do the gardening were having there's obviously like some kind of seniority thing pardon me so um, one lady wanted she had she had an idea crazy idea of planting some kind of thing green thing in some space over there and the more senior lady was like oh no no I don't think we should be doing that oh no but really I think it would go well with this no no see we've never done that before yes but you know maybe we could try this shall we talk about it over lunch dear oh, okay then Bless. Anyway, it's right nice here. The sun's not quite out, but it's a lovely day. I think I'm going to go back, have another look at that wallpaper. There's six rolls of it, so that's £36 I'll spend on it. Better be worth it. And then I'll get on the bus and go back home. And then sit in the garden, maybe. I'm back home, yay. Just made myself a nice coffee. That's a quick little, ooh, zoom, 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 of uh, some of the things I bought today. Some nicey bits. Um, I spent 120 pound today. Other than jewelry, I'll show you what else I bought. Hello. It's outside. I'm on my swing chair. And here's where I'm gonna do my haul. Mm -mm -mm. Right, as I was saying, I spent £120 today. Oof. That's a lot in one go, isn't it? 20 bits of jewellery, um, some nice bits, um, of which eight of them are nice silver bits. Got a lovely um, like dragonfly brooch in silver and some earrings. Um, Yeah, some like nice curly bits. So that's obviously some of it. And I shall show you the rest, which isn't actually quite a lot, but should get me a decent return. I'll come to the wallpaper last. Pretty much one of the first things I bought today was this, typically a big box, a big heavy box is the first thing I buy. So it's three pounds and it's a jewelry chest. And this is more like the kind of thing that I need and want. So it's nice and big. You see? And it's got handles on the side. Now, there is a, key, a lock key. Oh no, don't tell me it's locked and I don't have... I'm going to have to, like, jimmy that. Because that wasn't locked before and now it is. Is it that unlock? Oh, there we go. That's okay. There we are. Phew. What's that? There's an earring back in there. Is it gold? Is it gold? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I can't see anything. I'll check it out anyway. But yeah, I just thought that was, you know, cool. And I might keep this one because I do sort of need one myself. But we'll see. We'll see. It's good anyway. That's a good chunky beast of a jewellery box. I did end up buying the giant book of insults because I just thought it was funny. Um, they're, they're all just very, like, they say it's a crap, you know, it's a book of insults, but they're not really that insulting. No, it's very when was this printed 
just for the pun of it. Um, right, first printed 1965 by the looks of it, um, and then this has been a reprint from 1983. So there you go, this is from the 80s. The food she serves is not only high in calories, but high in trading stamps. She's less interested in her cookbook than his checkbook. Oh my God. Okay. They have a joint checking account. He puts the money in and she draws it out. <sighs> She's a woman who's five years ahead of her time. In 1963, for instance, she'd already spent his salary for 1968. <sighs> what a woman. Without her, he'd never be what he is today. Broke. Wow. Wow. A couple of times he was crossed in love, then he married her and was double-crossed. Ooh, his absence makes her heart go wander. Wow. She's very gifted. He has the bills to prove it. Oh my God, this book is fantastic. Wow, wow, what very dated insults. I love it. I might use some. <laughs> um, dud purchase of the day. Although you wouldn't really think it to look it. I thought these were fab. Look, see, they look like some kind of, you know, hipster trendy brand, don't they? The soles on their shoes are like remote controls. Um, they're a size 40, which I think is a six and a half to seven. Um, it's a seven because it only just goes on my foot. And I can't put my foot down because it's too tight. And I thought they were super, super cute. But apparently they're just from like Wish or, you know, one of them places. So I spent two quid on them and that's... Oh well. I spent how much on this? £7.50 on this. Um, it's not even a proper like tapestry bag, but it is cute. It's again probably about its worth. From Dulcis, uh, made in Hong Kong. So it's probably 70s or 80s, but there is a matching little money purse. So I couldn't leave it there because it is dead cute. I mean, it's probably 20 to 25 pounds on a good day, but it's in damn good nick and it is super lovely. So seven pound 50 is still too much to pay for something I'm gonna get 25 quid back on, but I couldn't leave it because it was too nice. I spent five pounds on a vintage 90s dress. This is Charlotte Halton, but this is super, super 90s festival. Um, see, it's got the buttons all the way down the front. Maxi dress, so 90s. And there are actually some festivals planning on going ahead this year, which would be a bit mad, wouldn't it? You know, mad to think, not mad that people will go. I understand why people want to go. It's just, you know. I've got another Gudflum Slodge black dress. This one's quite nice with the flowers on. I spent a fibre on this one. That's kind of cute. I wouldn't wear it. It's still not my kind of look. But, you know, for Zingerbert Flapty Slodge Blund. That's cool. I spent £12 on a dress. £12. £12. It's by a brand called Yavi. Y-A-V-I. It's this. It's very nice. I think it's 100% wool. So, you know, a great thing to buy in summer, on the third day of summer. But hey ho, where's the Dulabledge? There it is. Yeah, 100% wool, made in India. 12 pounds I spent on this. I First of all, I left it in the shop because I was like, I'm not spending 12 quid on a dress. And then I looked it up and brand new, this was 280 pounds, so went back and bought it crazy crazy and then my last purchases of the day 
with the wallpaper. I thought it was six rolls, but it was only five, unless someone in the meantime picked up one roll, but you wouldn't. So I spent 30 quid on five rolls of wallpaper. And it's this, it's the Designers Guild, and um, called Ariana. They're all the same batch number, which is good. Um, but yeah, they're an expensive brand of wallpaper. I looked it up. Um, they're not currently doing this colour, but they're doing like the reverse pattern in that like raspberry colour for £75 a roll, I think it is. So I'll auction them all off as a job lot, probably starting at about £100. And then if it doesn't go for £100, I'll put it on £150 by now with offers. But yeah, what an expensive day that's been. But I think I did okay. I was thinking on the way back how much I genuinely love what I do. I really do. It's a nice day. I had lunch in the physic garden and nice lunch as well. And you know, and now I'm finished for the day. Like I'm not going to do any more work now unless I actually fancy doing some. But yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? I love my life. It's great. Bye bye now. Bye bye.